Let's revisit some of the new concepts that we have introduced so far. We have talked about variables and the fact that they have a type. Most programming languages have a range of generally useful data types which can be used for variables that you create in your program. The one we have used so far is integer, which is a numerical data type representing whole numbers. You can also have floating point numbers, which are represented in processing through the data type float. And another important data type in programming languages is called Boolean. Boolean variables can have either the value true or false. Although we won't use them very much just now, you will see in a couple of weeks that they become extremely useful in programming. We have also introduced a new word, the expression. When we talk about an expression in programming, we are referring to a range of mathematical and logical expressions such as you would previously have seen in mathematics. For example, the following is an expression that adds two numbers together, three and four. In programming, we often use expressions in calculating a new value for a variable, such as the following expression. This calculates the result of the expression 3 plus 4 and then assigns that value, in this case 7, to be the new value of the variable x. Expressions can be quite complicated though, and we often use brackets to help us organise and make sense of more complicated expressions. The following example shows you how we do this. Can you work out what the value of the variable new height would be?